Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. I hope you like and subscribe. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little dress for baby girls between three and six months old. It's super easy to make, so I hope you like it. Now, the little dress that we're going to make in the tutorial is for baby girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn baby and up to 12 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave links to some tutorials that I already have in my channel using the same stitch pattern. I have some little booties, a diaper cover, and a little bonnet. I'll go ahead and leave those links in the information box. Now, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Thank you for your support. Now, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Okay, to crochet this baby dress, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this number three yarn. You can also use DK weight or a ply. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave the name of the yarn that I'm using and how much yarn I'm going to need for the size that I'm making. Now, to begin, I have 53 chains. This chain here, without stretching or anything, is measuring about 11 inches, which is about 28 centimeters. Now, if your chain is off by one or two centimeters, Meters, it's okay just continue so here to begin with the first row into the second chain from the hook one two into this second chain here insert your hook and make a single crochet into the next chain make a single crochet single crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do i'm going to make one single crochet on each chain at the end of this first row i'm going to have 52 single crochets continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 52 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now these two chains from here on do not count. They're just here so that when we finish the yoke, this part here is nice and straight. Now to begin the second row, I'm going to make three double crochets and then into the fourth single crochet, I'm going to make two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three. Into the next, make two double crochets. One and two. This is all you're going to do for the rest of this second row. You're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. Now, continue like this to the end of this second row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished the second row here at the end. I finished by making these last four double crochets. At the end of this second row, I have 64 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, I'm going to make four double crochets, then into the next, I'm going to make two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, two, three, four. Now into the next, make two double crochets. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this third row. You're going to make four double crochets and into the next two. Four, two, four, two until you finish this third row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I finished the third row. At the end of this third row, I have 76 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, I'm going to make five double crochets, then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, two, three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. You're going to make five double crochets, then two, five, two, five, two, until you finish this fourth row. 
At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 88 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished the fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, I have 88 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this fifth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the second row. I'm going to make three double crochets, then two, three, two, three, two, until I finish the row. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, two, three, now into the next, make two double crochets. One more time, make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. So continue making three double crochets, then two, three, two, to the end of this fifth row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Up to here, I have 100 double crochets. I still have eight double crochets left. Now, here at the end, we're going to finish this row by making one double crochet on each one of these double crochets so that at the end of this fifth row, I have a total of 108 double crochets. Now, I want to make sure that this last row here is in multiples of three. So 108 divides into three. There. So at the end of this fifth row, I have 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, what I'm going to do are V stitches. So our first V stitch is going to go into the third double crochet, counting from the beginning, one, two, three, into this third double crochet, make a V stitch. So make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Skip one, two, and into the third, make a V stitch. Skip one, two, and into the third, again, a V stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. We're just going to make these V stitches. Continue, finish this sixth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have my last V stitch. Up to here, I have 35 V stitches. Now to finish into the last double crochet here, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the sixth row with 35 V stitches. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. Now in this seventh row, what I'm going to do inside each one of the V-stitches is a fan. Each one of the fans is going to consist of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Same thing into the next and into each one of the V-stitches. So continue like this for this seventh row. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. This is where we did these fans. I have 35 fans. Now to finish the row, we're going to go into the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the seventh row. Now for the eighth row, chain one and turn. Now on top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now chain two and inside the first fan into the chain one space, make a single crochet three chains, single crochet. Now chain two, in the middle of these two fans right here, make a single crochet, two chains, and again inside the second fan into the chain one space, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Again, chain two, and in the middle of the two fans, a single crochet. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this eighth row. And this is how it looks. Continue. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I finished the eighth row here. This is where we did these chains. And if you notice, I have changed color. The last row that I did is row eight. This is where we did the chains. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change uh, color here. That's why I went ahead and just finished here by making a single crochet, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. If you're wondering, this yarn here it's this one here it's la mia baby boom this is dk weight yarn you can use a ply or number three yarn as well so here what i'm going to do for the ninth row is this is where i finished so i'm going to turn now like this i'm going to insert my hook into this last single crochet that i did i'm going to grab a loop here bring it through the front now here chain two now we have this chain two space, make a slip stitch. Chain two into the chain three space here, make a slip stitch. Chain three, slip stitch again into the same chain three space. Chain two, here we have two chain two spaces. Into the first one, make a slip stitch. Chain two again, make a slip stitch into the chain two space, chain two, and then into the chain three space, make a slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch into this same chain three space, and then again, chain two, and make a slip stitch into the next chain two space, chain two, and a slip stitch into the next chain two space. This is how you're going to continue for this ninth row, and that's how it looks continue i will meet you here at the end of this ninth row to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making the ninth row here at the end all i did was just chain two and on top of the last single crochet here i did my last single crochet cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and this row here is all done so the yoke is done now what we're going to do in the next row is divide the sleeve so that would be row one now here i have placed this stitch marker this stitch marker here is marking the front of the little dress and this here is going to be the wrong side of the little dress so make sure you put a stitch marker that way we don't get confused and what we're going to do next like i said is we're going to divide the sleeves now we have a total of 35 fans so each one of these here is a fan so we have 35 of them now each one of the front panels is going to have four fans one two three four and then i put a stitch marker right in between the fourth and the fifth fan now for the sleeves each sleeve is going to have nine fans one two three four five six seven eight nine and then i put a stitch marker between the ninth and the tenth now this here is going to be the front after we divide so i also have nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then i place my stitch marker after the ninth fan and then again we have the second sleeve again we have nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and here for the second front panel i have four one two three four so here to divide the sleeves we're going to go here this is where i finished so this is the front or the good side that you're going to see of the little dress this is the inside so we're going to go and work this row where we're going to divide the sleeves from the wrong side out so this is where i finished so turn your yoke over and we're going to start right here we're going to go into the seventh row in the seventh row we did this row of fans let me double check one two three four five six seven yes into the row of fans which was row seven we're going to start right here i'm going to let's see, use the white yarn to continue so we're going to go here into this double crochet of the seventh row where we did the fans and insert your hook like this, grab a loop, bring it through and chain one. Now this chain one here counts as the first stitch. I can't make a single crochet, but um, that's why I did I chain instead. So this is where we're going to join once we finish this row We're going to join to this chain here So it does count as a stitch so count it as a single crochet because what we're going to do next is Into each one of these fans. We're going to make front post single crochets So insert your hook like this through the first double crochet of the first fan of the seventh row and make a front post single crochet into the next front post 
single crochet into the next front post single crochet and front post single crochet so you're going to make four front post single crochets for each fan and in the middle between the fans you're going to chain one now jump to the second and do these four front post single crochets that's one two three four chain one into the third fan make four front post single crochets that's two three four chain one into the fourth fan make four front post single crochet that's one two three four now here i should have 20 stitches including the chains so let me count i'm counting the first stitch which i said it counts as the first stitch that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20 stitches counting the front post single crochets and then the chains that are in between the fans and this first one here. So here I have 20. Now what I'm going to do is because I have an extra fan for the front here, remember here I have nine and on the front panels I only have four. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go into the next fan here. So the first double crochet after the stitch marker and here make a front post single crochet. So only make it on that first double crochet. Now to divide, chain six. That's two, three, four, five, six. You can make more chains here if you like, that would be up to you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip nine fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fans for the first sleeve and into the fan after the stitch marker, make a front post single crochet and same thing into the next three double crochets of this fan that's two three four now chain one and then repeat the same thing for the next fan make four front post single crochets that's two three four chain one and again four front post single crochets this is how i'm going to continue until i come here to the stitch marker or to this last fan for the back side i will meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve i finished making these front post single crochets for the back side i have 44. so from here up to here i have 44 front post single crochets make sure that you have a chain space in between the fans i had to redo this part because i forgot to make my chain in between the fans so if you're off that could be why so here to divide the second sleeve chain six it's two three four five six now we're going to skip one two three four five six seven eight and into the ninth fan here into the last double crochet of this fan we're going to make a front post single crochet this is what we did on the other side now chain one and into the next fan here for the front panel make these four front post single crochets chain one and then four front post single crochets and so on continue finish this row and i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this first row where we have divided the sleeves. Now I have my last front post single crochet and here at the end I have these chains. 
just insert your hook like this through the last chain here at the end and make your last front pull single crochet now at the end of this row for each one of the front panels you should have 22 and 22 under each sleeve you should have six chains and for the front side this here is going to be the front now you should have a total of 44 stitches so that's a total of 100 stitches at the end of this row remember that this chain here counts as the first stitch so now to finish this row we're going to join and we're going to continue working the rest of the little dress in the round so insert your hook like this through this chain here and make a slip stitch and now we're joined and this is how I finish the first row now for the second row I'm going to chain four and turn now what I'm going to do here is into this next single crochet, which is the last one that I did for the panel here, for this front panel, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now I'm going to skip one, two, and into the third, I'm going to make another V-stitch. So make a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Skip two single crochets and into the third, make another V-stitch. In this row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make these V-stitches. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, make another V-stitch. This is how I'm going to continue all around. When you come here to the chains, I'm going to show you, you're just going to continue with the same pattern. Skip two and into the third, a V stitch here I'm going to show you how you're going to work the chains under the sleeves one two and into the third make a V stitch skip two and into the third make a V stitch skip two and into the let's see one two make a V stitch skip one two and into the next make a V stitch you're just going to continue with the pattern nothing different there skip one two and into the third make a V stitch this is how you're going to continue all around continue finish this second row and I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did these V stitches now at the end here I have my last V stitch I have 32 V stitches to finish here I have two single crochets and then I have the three chains go into the third chain here and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finish the second row with 32 V stitches. Now for the third row, chain one and into this first double crochet of the first V stitch. So right here where we have the chains, go in there and make a front post double crochet. Now inside the chain one space of the same V stitch, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And now work a front post double crochet into this second double crochet of the first V stitch. Again, let me show you. We have the second V stitch. We have two double crochets into the first double crochet. Make a front post double crochet inside the chain two space. Make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And then into the second double crochet of this same V stitch, make a front post double crochet. One more time, we have the third V stitch, we have two double crochets. Into the first double crochet, make a front post double crochet. Then into the chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And now into the second double crochet, work a front post double crochet this is how we're going to continue for the rest of this third row i'll meet you here at the end 
I'm here at the end of this third row. I have my last fan and my last front post double crochet here. Now I have the first fan that I did and the first front post double crochet. To finish the row, go on top of the first double crochet, which is the front post double crochet that we did, and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the third row with 32 fans. Now to start the fourth row, we're going to make three slip stitches. That's one, two and three i'm inside this first fan here i'm going to chain four and into this same space make a double crochet this here is the first v stitch in this row we're going to make v stitches so they're going to go inside each one of the chain two spaces of each fan so into the next fan make a v stitch and remember each v stitch consists of a double crochet two chains double crochet and this is all i'm going to do all around at the end of this fourth row i'm going to be left with 32 v stitches continue i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of the fourth row in this row we did this row of v stitches now to finish here at the end we have these four chains into the third chain insert your hook and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish the fourth row with a total of 32 v stitches now from here on these are the two rows that we're going to repeat this row of v stitches and the row of fans so to start you off here on the fifth row we need to do the row of fans so to do this we're going to chain one now into this first double crochet which are the three chains make a front post double crochet inside the chain space here of this first v stitch make two double crochets two chains two double crochets and then work a front post double crochet into the second double crochet of this first v stitch let me show you again i have the second v stitch make a front post double crochet then make two double crochets two chains two double crochets and then make a front post double crochet this is how we're going to work each one of the V stitches. Now to finish this fifth row, you're going to go here on top of the front post double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And that's how you're going to finish this row of fans. Now to start the next row, row six, it would be the row of V stitches. So to do that, you're going to make three slip stitches. Once you're inside the chain two space, you're going to chain four and into that same space, make a double crochet. That's going to be the first V stitch and then into each chain two space of each fan you're going to make a v stitch just like we did here in this fourth row and that's all you're going to do from here on just repeat those two rows now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row okay i finished making the skirt of the dress i have a total of 16 rows from here where we did the row v stitches up to this last row here of this pattern for the skirt i have a total of 16 rows now at the end of the 16th row i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn past my yarn through that last loop my last row here is the row of fans now for the next row i'm going to change color if you're not changing color just chain three and turn so here to do this next row, I'm going to work this row from the inside out. So we're going to go right here. This is where I finished. So right in the middle of these two fans, we have the two front post double crochets. Here's the first fan and here's the last fan that I did. So in the middle of these two fans, insert your hook here and grab a loop. Bring it through the front and chain three. I'm going to use this pink yarn so that it matches the yoke. So now in the middle of this fan into the chain two, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, three chains in the middle of the fans, right between the two front posts here, make a single crochet, chain three in the middle, in the chain two space of the next fan, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet three chains in the middle of the fans single crochet and then again 
three chains inside the chain two space, a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this row. Continue, finish this row, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end. All I did was just join to the first chain with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is all done. Now the skirt of the little dress is all done. Look how beautiful this stitch pattern is. It's absolutely beautiful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the back side and we're going to make a row here of single crochet so that this part here looks nicer and i'm going to add two buttonholes so one about here and one right in the middle so to do this i'm going to use this white yarn we're going to go here this is the back side so we're going to go to the right side so right here into this chain here at the end grab a loop here i'm going to use white chain one and into this same stitch here make a single crochet now there's no right or wrong way of doing this part here the important thing is that it looks nice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a single crochet into the next row so now i have two now into the row here of double crochets make one right in the middle between the double crochet and the two chains here you see this spot there make a single crochet so so far i have four five in the middle six seven in the middle eight nine in the middle ten eleven in the middle twelve thirteen single crochets so from here up to here this is the row of fans i have 13 single crochets now I have the row of single crochets make a single crochet there that's 14 and then I'm going to go into this side into the row of single crochets on this side I'm going to pull this yarn here and make a single crochet right there now I'm going to continue and work single crochet so right about here I'm going to make the first buttonhole so there's one two three four five now i'm going to make my first buttonhole chain two make a single crochet that's one right in the middle two three four, five, six, seven. Now chain two and into the chain here at the end, make a single crochet. So here are my two buttonholes. I have one chain two space here and one chain two space here. These are going to be the buttonholes. Now the buttons that I'm going to use are pretty small. I'd say, I don't know, nine or 10 continue watching I'll let you know once I showed you the dress what size I'm going to use make sure that these two chains the space here is big enough for the buttons that you're going to use you can even chain three or four that would be up to you now here to continue all around the neckline I have my last single crochet here now chain three skip one chain space and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one chain and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one chain and into the next a slip stitch chain three skip one chain and into the next a slip stitch this is all i'm going to do all around the neckline so continue i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this last row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is all done. I also went ahead and attached my buttons. Now these buttons that I'm using here, these are nine millimeter size buttons. These here, I purchased these from Joann's. And the little dress is all done. This is what it looks like here in the back side. I went ahead and hit all my ends here make sure you do the same thing and here's the front side now here in the front all I did was just make this little bow and right in the center I sewed in these 
little flowers. These flowers are pre-made. I also purchased them from Joann's and that's all I did. So the little dress is all done. Here's the front side. Now, let me give you the finished measurements. Now, this part here, from here to under the sleeve, right across, it's measuring about 10 centimeters, which is about four inches. Now, the chest area, just the top, it's measuring about 21 centimeters, which is about 8.5 inches, and the length. From the top of the shoulder to the end of the last row here, it's measuring about 33 centimeters, which is about 13 inches. So based on these measurements, this little pinafore dress is for baby girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger, I'd say from a newborn baby and up to nine to 12 months down here in the information box. I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some links. I already have a tutorial for a baby bonnet, baby booties, and uh, a diaper cover using this same stitch pattern. Just make sure to look in the information box of each of those videos to see how you can make them smaller for three to six months. I think the little set that I did is for six to nine months, um, if I remember correctly, but just double check there. Um, I always tell you the size at the beginning of the video. Now, remember that I also have an Etsy shop. If you prefer a written pattern, I'll go ahead and leave the link in the information box as well. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.